There's six, and if we look above... Six, train to Brooklyn Bridge City Hall. Approaching the station, please stand away from the platform edge. Transit connects the fabric of the city. It really serves as the arteries for any community. If you want to get to know a city, the best thing to do is to navigate around it on its transit system. Transit connects people to opportunity. It provides access to opportunity. It really allows people to live wonderful, free lives and have that ability to get to where they need to go, when they need to go. Well, hello, my name is Jerome Horn, and I am a brand new resident here in New York City. I uh, moved here to start a new job with Transit Center uh, as their Director of Transit Leadership Development. Uh, Transit Center is a national foundation that kind of focuses on transit advocacy, research, and policy. I love transit, you know, it is uh, part of my, what I do for work, but also part of my lifestyle. What really got me interested in transit, uh, I'm originally from Baltimore, and growing up there, I was exposed to transit at an early age, so riding trains and buses there, uh, light rail, the, the cute little Baltimore metro, and I think what really did it for me was the rail fan window, or the window that's at the front of the train on the Baltimore metro, where you can look out front uh, and see the tracks ahead. And uh, I remember being a kid, my favorite part was when we would transition from uh, the elevated section to plunging down into the tunnel, and that was just like uh, a rush for a little toddler. You can be a New Yorker after being here 20 minutes, so Jerome is a New Yorker. But today we got to see a lot from the water side, and that's a, that's a different view of things. Lots to learn about just the, the geography, the, the layout of the city, the build up of the city politically. Oh, what do we have here? Vestiges of a rail, probably a freight railroad, but they had car floats that went to New Jersey from here. <laughs> oh, well, well. <laughs> what gauge is my... this? You know? You gotta be 40. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now we're getting on the six, just like the justice would have. Transit is even more important for equity and climate reasons. Uh, you know, we have a lot of folks, um, and folks often that are particularly black and brown folks, people of color, marginalized populations that uh, rely on transit. And we also have an impending uh, climate emergency that is upon us. And one of the ways we can help tackle that is by having better and more robust transit. Uh, inside of several of the New York City buses, and I've seen them in transit systems across the country, there are these great digital screens that show a route map and other really important service information. And that's something that I would like to see transit agencies all across the country uh, implement. This really helps people navigate the system, whether you're familiar with it or not. Uh, it's just a really great add-on and I think something of value. I hear you have quite the collection of transit memorabilia. Yeah, do you want to see it? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the International Micro Museum of Transit, uh, also known as my apartment, but uh, the International Micro Museum of Transit is my personal collection of transit memorabilia. Uh, I believe in total I have over 200 transit signs and over 150 model trains and buses from places all around the world. And today we're going to show you just a sneak peek of the uh, museum. I'd like to call it Phase 1A. You know, I figured uh, kitchen cabinets, they were white, pretty plain, and I decided to get creative. I was like, who has kitchen cabinets with bus stop signs? No one that I know, but now I do, and so here you go. Uh, DART from Dallas, the Dallas Area Rapid Transit, um, SEPTA in Philadelphia, the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority. Uh, I just love this. This is an old Kansas City sign. Uh, and then finally, um, got a sign here from TransLink in Vancouver, Canada. Oh, it's international. Uh, we're looking at a very expensive limited edition model from MTH Trains, that's Mike's Train House. Well, this is a model of the New York City subway R32. Uh, these trains were only just retired last year at the end of 2020, but these trains were real workhorses and built by the Bud Company, which was one of the premier rail car builders here in the United States. So uh, this is my MARTA sign, and MARTA is the Metropolitan Atlanta 
Rapid Transit Authority, uh, the transit agency for Atlanta. And this sign, I found it on the ground one time after a storm and uh, had a friend that worked for MARTA and asked him, hey, can I have the sign? And the next day they got back to me and said, hey, we can't repair it, the sign is yours. I love this. Uh, this is a wonderful gift from the Shared Use Mobility Center. Uh, Jerome Avenue is a prominent street here in New York City and it runs uh, basically from the southern part of the Bronx near Yankee Stadium uh, all the way up to the northern part and Jerome Avenue is now uh, today's current line four. So here we have a model of the bus that Rosa Parks rode uh, that kind of started the modern civil rights movement in the United States. Even though uh, you know Rosa Parks gets a lot of highlights, I do want to say that you know in history we do know that there were several other uh, people, even folks before Rosa Parks. Uh, so there are other uh, black and brown people that we have to thank uh, all throughout history that were standing up against discrimination and segregation on public transit. And it's important for us today as we move forward uh, where there's a huge focus on equity and transit. And that's actually something that, that we're focusing on at Transit Center. All right, it's time to go to the trains. are down at Prospect Park Station, right here, okay. we'll be in queue. We're right by that blue dot, exactly where we're sitting right now. <laughs> so here I am with Jerome on the Franklin Avenue shuttle, and this is kind of unique because what's four stops, and uh, we kind of can see daylight most of the time. It's a small little shuttle train, they only operate two cars per train, and this connects B and Q with uh, C up at uh, Franklin Avenue. When I lived in Indy, I was so close to Chicago, so uh, I think my favorite uh, transit system in the U.S. outside of here is probably the Chicago Transit Authority, CTA. Uh, the, you know, the L is just one of a kind. It's so great to be able to, to ride that system and ride most of it above ground. You really just have this appreciation for the city that you can't really get anywhere else. And I think being able to see where you're going while you're on the, on the train, it makes a really big difference. And it's really helpful for just discovering new neighborhoods. You look down and you're like, oh, I'm gonna get off at the next stop and go check that out. Another thing I'm really excited about for my job is the ability to help cultivate the next generation of transit leaders in our industry. You know, if we're going to survive and tackle the issues of equity and climate and, and bring forth, you know, new ideas and new energy, we got to have a whole crop of people that are ready to do that. Attention Indigo Riders, on behalf of Indigo, thank you for riding and have a great day.